Hello everyone and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I am Thomas Itchel and today I want to show you seven quick amazing Google Ads optimizations that are hands-on and will cut wasted ad spend guaranteed. I tried them all and they will for sure help you. If you are running Google Ads and you feel sometimes money is leaking somewhere, it's probably true. If you're rooted If you're running Google Ads and feel money's leaking somewhere, it probably is, since we all know Google well, right? So whenever there is the possibility, Google will spend your money even without results for you. In this video, I will again share my screen and we will optimization in your Google Ads account. So let's get tactical. Let's start with the first optimization, excluding locations. We've all seen that, especially when using the margin and Pmax campaign, the actual location targeting, the one that you insert as your location targeting is not accurate and Google will spend outside of your target country, region, or even city. Even if you have location option set to presence only on your Pmax campaign, for example, Google will not report you the spend of the locations that are outside of your real targeting locations, but you will only see it once you go to Google Analytics and segment your Google Ads traffic by locations. And many times you will see a horrible surprise that you spend money outside of your targeting locations, especially for Pmax and the Manjin campaign. So that's why in 2025, one of the biggest optimizations is to exclude all other countries in the world to be safe that your spend only goes to real targeted countries where it makes sense for you to run Google Ads. Now I'll show you how to do that because there's a very quick way. I'm in the account so you can see we have no location exclusions. We just have the positive locations. But if I run this Pmax campaign with location option put to presence, you can still spend a lot of my money outside of those positive locations. So what I have to do is always exclude the rest of the world. So if I go to my Google Ads editor, I have here all the negative locations that I can show you later how you get this list. Just copy all these negative locations and then I go to my Pmax campaign and say location negatives. Then I go to make multiple changes, put all the locations here put my campaign where I want to have them and say process. Those are not the campaigns that I'm targeting in a positive way. So I have to remove those. You can see now I have the whole world as a negative location. What I have to do is post it. Now you will see. I've also seen a lot of reports because last year Google forbid to make bulk changes for negative locations, but this is all not true. You can really at over 200 negative locations by one. So now I go back to my campaign. I'm gonna reload the top. You see now I have the whole world as negative. So now I'm sure here, obviously I would need to put Germany, Denmark and the rest, but those are like countries that in case if spend comes, I'm fine with it, but they can obviously add them also. And you get the whole list I have on my website. If you go to tomasetchel.com, you can get it here. So you have the whole list. You can buy it once and then you have it forever and just put it in your Google Ads editor with a copy paste. That's just like copy pasting the ID and the location, then it's done. So that's really easy. And it's the fastest way in 2025 to get rid of wasted ad spend because of location targeting. Next step that I have is exclude app campaigns in a very fast way. For example, if you go to all campaigns in your Google Ads account and then you go to content exclusions here and then you see edit exclusions account level. Then you come to the edit exclusion list here in your account and you have categories that you can exclude. You can do it one by one, but that's too much time, right? And first of all, why are we excluding app campaigns? Especially if you run display or YouTube campaigns or even Pmax, you probably find mobile app placements eating a lot of your budget. I've seen that also in my accounts. So unless the product is really, I don't know, app related or let's say kid channel friendly, these clicks rarely convert, right? So we have to always exclude them. If you have a Google Ads account, do it right now. So you have better placement targeting and you don't want any crappy app placements. My friend Niels has a really nice Google Ads placement list that you can just copy 
paste all the mobile categories. Obviously, if there's one category that you don't want to exclude, you can just ignore it. But what you do here is you go to the sheet, you copy all these mobile categories, go to your account, say enter. And here you can put multiple placements, you say add and tada, all of your add categories are now excluded and you can do save and that's it. You have now all excluded on account level and you're safe that your spend will not be wasted on any apps. The next optimization tip is content suitability. On account level, you can choose really important content suitability settings in order to get less spammy leads, for example, and to show your ads on a way more brand safe environment. Under tools, if you go here to tools and then content suitability, you will have inventory types. So these are the inventory where you want to show your ads. What I always recommend is you go on limited, always. You can even compare the inventory types so you see the differences. But for a brand safe environment, what we are talking here, you have to go to limited inventory. Next one is exclude sensitive content. Really important that you exclude all of those sensitive content categories because you don't want any ad to show on those in the Google universe. Then we always have to exclude different content types and labels for our YouTube display and Google video partner inventory. So for example, I don't want ads to in a live stream video, for example, or in the embedded YouTube videos, because I don't want to show it like on sketchy websites in a sketchy ad format. Also, what you can do here is if the content is not yet labeled by the policy team from Google, you can say, okay, I will better be safe than sorry. So I exclude all my content on content that is not yet labeled. I also don't want major audiences and yeah, general audiences you can use. That's fine. And then here, most audiences flipper, and that's also quite fine normally. And teen and older audiences is also fine. So what I recommend is that you tick on all those because we don't want all those types and labels. Then obviously content, we have to exclude content for YouTube display and also Google video again. And what I normally recommend is to go with all those kind of sensitive content types and you exclude them right away in your account. And here you can exclude content keywords keywords that are used for YouTube display and also video partner inventory. Again, you can normally use all your negative keywords that you usually have for search campaigns. You can put them here as content negatives. That's a, a good way in order to get rid of any <laughs> sensitive search term that you don't want. And here you can see again, the placements that we already optimized in our previous optimization. We have them now all. Out. Now, next optimization tip is use AI in order to create new negative keywords that you've never thought about, that you can use from the beginning and don't just wait for search term to accrue spend and then you proactively exclude them. So with AI, you can really think about negatives from the very beginning so you don't waste any euro in the beginning of any campaign. I have one of the biggest PPC G GBTs in the world. This one is an expert in Google Ads and Analytics but I use it mainly for Google Ads. Now we are around 35,000 people have used it too, and it's quite powerful. And I use it especially for Google Ads optimizations and strategies and new keywords. So here I show you how you can use it. It's a nice use case. Let's give it this prompt here. I'm a Google Ads agency and I want to create ads for attracting new clients. I created a Google Ads search campaign with keywords like Google Ads agency, hire Google Ads agency, and now I want to get 100 negative keywords to implement that are relevant and not just wasting budget. All right, we can see now the first negative keywords that seem irrelevant for AI. We can just go through them. But I've never thought about those terms, honestly. So that's really good that AI is giving me inspiration. Also very good from AI to say, okay, job career seekers, we have to exclude because they are not clients. Cost sensitive ones, yeah, freebie seekers. <laughs> They're not ready to invest, so also that's a good one. Irrelevant tools, also that's true because I'm an agency, so I don't want to sell software tools, for example. And misleading intent of wrong industry. Exactly, and that's also very well. But right now I cannot do a lot, right, with those. All right, now I'm saying and put them together so I can just copy paste them into my Google Ads account and make them, for example, exact match negatives. But you can also use the broad match, you can also use them phrase them, whatever. All right. Here we go. 
since it did it the many so many times it knows exactly how I want it so I can just go here and copy those obviously in a real case you should go through them to see if there is something that might still be interesting for you but what I can do now is go here for example I go to account settings and I would have here very nice negative keywords in let's say one minute right so here as you can see all my negatives and there are so many negatives that I would not have thought about but obviously in this way it would now make more sense to use them as phrase match so I can say as you can see here I can say make them now phrase phrase match all right so now it will make me now phrase match keywords it's amazing and now you can obviously play around. You can say, ah, thanks a lot, but now please give me even more specific ones that I would not have thought about or don't give me 100, give me 1000. <laughs> and it can really deliver you everything in a really fast way and you can really save so much money. So you can save now and you would be fine, right? And you have amazing negative keyword list and you don't need to even start campaigns in order to see what are people searching you have it already there because AI thought for you. Next optimization that I have today is in the keyword planner. It's like a quick one, but a really cool one because the interface got changed. If I go, for example, to get search volume, let's say Google Ads Agency, and I click on get started, then I go to the keyword. I can now see exactly, so I'm in Spain, so I can now see where most clicks are coming from or with what kind of regions or cities are the most attractive for my Google Ads if I want to run now on a campaign for a Google Ads agency, for example. And this is really cool. You can do it for top provinces, top autonomous communities, top counties, top municipalities, top cities, and even top postcodes. So if you want to have a really good and really specific Google Ads campaign targeting those postcodes, you know where most search volume is and, and where most of your campaigns will accrue clicks. So that's a, a really cool thing from, from Google and it's quite new. I have not seen this user interface before. And yeah, this is really good if you want to create new campaigns, but you don't know exactly which countries, which cities are interesting for your campaign. And you can just also go here and say, okay, I want to target the whole world. Which countries are, for example, the ones that are searching most of those keywords. Really cool, really cool report from the amazing Google Planner. Then another one that I want to show you, it's not really, let's say, budget and another, not optimization, but uh, I want to show you. You can see the link here in the Google Ads URL. And here you have like a, always like a question mark. And if you go here and say HL equals for example, language code German, DE, and then you put a and. So this is the code that I put, or like the string that I put, always behind the question mark. And now I make it reload. So the whole Google Ads interface will switch to German language. I learned it when I was working as a Google Ads support agent, where we had to switch interface depending on the user. And it's really nice and it works. So always behind again always behind the question mark you can put the string h l equals and then for example language code let's make it italian and then the interface goes italian <laughs> really amazing and it worked now another optimization tip that i have is for smart bidding once you use target roas for example you cannot control the cpc of your campaign right because target and cpc are not working together however if you change to a portfolio bid strategy that can not just be used for the whole account but for single campaigns for example just for one pmax campaign where your cpc is too high you can go to tools strategies and here you can create a portfolio bid strategy, for example, a target ROAS bid strategy for Pmax campaign A, because that Pmax has a CPC that is not acceptable for me. I put the same target ROAS as before. And then here on this little setting, advanced options, I can say, okay, I have now a target bid strategy and I can choose a limit and a maximum for CPC. That means I can say my Pmax campaign runs on a 
boss. In that case, it would be lead gen, obviously, not ecom guys. And then I can say my maximum CPC that I want to pay is, for example, one euro. So I can put here my bit limit for the minimum bit and here my maximum bit limit. And that means in this Pmax campaign, I'm 100% sure that it will never exceed the CPC of one euro. And that's a really cool optimization that you can do for each campaign. So you can save this now and then create for the Pmax campaign, for example, a max CPC limit of two euros because you want to go more aggressively and so on. So that's really cool that you should use. And yeah, those are pretty quick Google Ads optimization that obviously cost me some years of experience to get to know them all, but I'm happy to share them with you. And I will for sure share more nice Google Ads tips and videos on my YouTube channel every week. And yeah, please subscribe and leave a like if you like this video and see you in the next round. Ciao, ciao.